Hey guys, it's me, Balin. You fucking know who I am. If you've subscribed to this channel, I hope you subscribe to this channel. You fucking know who I am. I want to talk about fucking Leafies here and why this whole situation is a bunch of horse shit in general. And that's pissing me off to the extent that it is because it's like, you guys know already, I already, you guys know my position. I'm fully with Hey Watch Your Mouth Guy. I understand and I fully fucking agree. Leafy's a scumbag piece of shit. Only looking out for himself. Only shit up doing business for himself. But you know what? Fuck all the other people who worked with Leafy when all the shit was going down with Keemstar. You know, all these people sitting fucking and not saying a goddamn thing. Leafy going out there and Greg going out there blasting ass and everybody just goes, oh, we, we don't want to say anything. But now everybody's so fucking heroic and they feel so fucking proud to say, yeah, Leafy fucked me over too or their Leafy's an asshole to me too. Fuck you people. You had no fucking backbone or spine to stand up before them. Fuck you people for standing up now. You should have fucking done in the first place. This is the type of shit that we as the viewers should not be fucking tolerating in all of goddamn YouTube. And I want to get to the crux of this whole fucking video and why everyone should be unsubscribing from fucking Leafy for one simple reason. God damn it, he doesn't fucking do anything when this shit happens. There's no response video. There's nothing that comes out. There's no tweet. There's no information that's brought to light. Leafy's tactics to trying to divert the hate, to try to divert the attention is, oh, if I ignore it, I pretend like I'm sick, people will sympathize with me. People sympathize with me, then obviously I'm not going to get hated on because I'm currently in a negative state or I'm feeling sick or I'm ailed. And then on top of that, it's his job to divert the hate towards somebody else. Usually, as Kim has been tweeting out and a lot of other people have been tweeting out, divert it to somebody like FoozyTube or Misha or something like that. Divert the hate, and then on top of that, come back and make a video saying, Hey guys, it's Leafy here. Um, You know, I really do appreciate all the support. I love you guys so much. I, I fucking I fucking love all of you. You guys, you make my life the best thing in the world. Um, there's a lot of mistruths coming out, and we need to like I need you guys to go over and support Nick. I did a fucked up thing and screwing him over in the fucking shout out I promised him. I can't make a leafy voice. That's the best I can give you. So he diverts the hate. Or no, he plays victim for a little bit. Diverts the hate. Makes a shitty fucking apology and doesn't change any of his behavior. Doesn't change any of his attitude. Nothing's going to change. The same shitty content's going to come out of his fucking production. People are still going to be subscribing because they like to fucking bully other people. They like to feel powerful over the internet. Content creators are still going to feel like, oh, the only time they can speak up is when they have five other people to st stick out and, you know, help them really shout out, like, when there's an injustice going on. And YouTube subscribers, they're going to be ignorant and sit there and go, oh, well, it's going to become boring in a week. It's going to become ignorant. And in reality, these are the type of people who manipulate your emotions. They manipulate you as a subscriber. They manipulate you into following them like they are a D. They manipulate people. They fuck with them. They hold them hostage. If you're not on the same level as them, you're a fucking underling. And that is not fucking YouTube. That is not this channel. That is not who we are as YouTubers. This is a fucking injustice that's going on. At day in and day out, People like Leafy, people like Idubs, people like, you know, Max Mofo. I'm not saying this in a particularly negative light, but I am pr bringing this up in a way that we should all be enraged as our subscribers. You know, H3H3, Joey Salads. You fucking name a person who's a big person and has ever presented something to you that says, hey, you guys should not like this. This is weird. We shouldn't like this as a collective. They're scumbags. Nobody should be going out of their way to tell you that something is wrong, that you have to hate something. Unless, of course, it actually is, like, illegal, in which case, I can't really dispute the fucking facts. Like, one of H3H3's recent video is about everybody getting triggered and getting politically charged over a thing. Everyone's so fucking easy to jump on a bandwagon, to join a side, to join a cause. And you know what happens? These fucking big YouTubers are playing you. I talk about this so many times. They're playing you. You are are puppets in a grand scheme of a show and you people need to sit there and go I'm not gonna be a fucking puppet anymore I can't sit there and go these are the best people in the world some of the people that I madly respect and madly love like Rooster Teeth and Philip DeFranco like these guys never tell you to sit there and go yeah go defend me the big drama going on between Philip DeFranco and Lacey Green did Philip DeFranco say go out of your way and actively attack Lacey Green go hate this person because they're weird and out of the normal no he said hey it's just been talked about that all of his uh 
all of Lacey Green's fans are pointing out that she's kind of being a hypocrite. Now, hopefully she corrects this issue, but, you know, in the past it's been shown that Philly D and Lacey Green were friends. So obviously there's no malicious behavior there. But now we see somebody like iDubs, and I'm not trying to critique iDubs here. I actually really like this video. But when he did the content cop on Leafy, he's sitting there going, yeah, Leafy, your fucking content's absolute shit. It's absolute garbage. He's critiquing the fucking video. But you know what everybody in the fucking community took it as? We should go attack this person because we don't like them anymore. The collective mindset says that Leafy's not cool. Leafy's weird. We don't like that. You need to stop it. We as subscribers need to be smarter. We need to be. We can't be feeding into this fucking horseshit that is... People being allowed to screw everyone else over because they're not on the same level as you. They're not on the same spectrum of you. They're not, they don't have a million subscribers. So what are they worth to you? They're worth nothing. These are the same people who will go out of their way and make a video. And I'm talking about Joey Salazar in particular. Go out of their way to make a video to intentionally portray something in a negative light that has real no con no real connotation, or maybe is completely fake, or maybe is completely set up to make you believe something. And these are the type of people that need to be avoided. You want good people in this world. And I'm not saying like, oh, we can't enjoy our bad. God, I mean, one of my favorite Twitters that I never subscribed to is uh, 30 Second Fights. I absolutely love watching that fucking Twitter feed because it's like, it feeds into my primal need of people just beating the shit out of each other. I fucking love it. But I will never follow that channel because it's like, that is the essence of promoting violence. Black on black, black on white, white on white. It is the essence of promoting violence. I would never go out of my way to subscribe to something like that because that is exactly what this is. It is a fucking channel. It is a person. It is a collective of YouTubers who sit there and go, we're going to feed on your hatred and we're going to make you hate more so that you work for us, that you think for us, that you act for us. You can see this in so many videos. You can see this in so much of just political landscape, politically charged landscape, whether it be like YouTubers or, you know, podcasters or sometimes live streamers. These people want you to think for them. They want you to act, or not even think for them. They want you to act for them. They don't want you to think. They want you to act and be their their sheep. You, you want to be the army of, or Leafy's army, or Grade's army, or Keem's army, or fucking I-Dub's army. These people are charging on your emotions to make you think a certain way. Stop it. Leafy's addressing this hate. Is it going to be a complete ploy to shift hate, to try, try to draw some pity, to try to say, oh, well, even though I screwed Hey, Watch Your Mouth Over, we did come to an agreement. If he didn't like the deal, he could have easily just said, oh, I didn't want to do the deal. But in reality, what happens in that situation? What did Leafy really do? Hey, Watch Your Mouth is a guy with like 20, 50,000 subs or something like that. You think he's gonna pass up the opportunity to work with somebody with four million or three, four million subs, however much he has at the time? The same thing could be said with me and Keem at times, and I will admit this a little bit. When Keem comes to me at three o'clock in the morning and says, yo, I need this thing done. You think I'm gonna go, well, well I'm, I'm busy sleeping. No, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do the thing, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Like I treat it like a fucking career. And you know what? People play on that shit. They really do. Now, I'm not, and I don't mean like Keem's exploited me for that. That happened literally one time. A like hashtag exposed. Keem start fucking exposed. But people do shit like this all the time. It's, it's not fair. You, you guys, you're smarter than you think you are. You just need to take a step back and go, hey, something's not right here. Something's not right. Why is everyone attacking everyone? Why does it seem like there's a battle back and forth? Why can't one person stand in the middle and be like, hey, maybe you're both wrong or maybe you're both right? One of the best examples is Colossal. Like, I kind of hate Colossal for standing in the middle, but at the same time, I can't fault Colossal. I can't be mad at him. He's standing in the middle because he's conflicted because he's like, you're both wrong and you're both right at the same time. And you know what? I personally just have a hatred and anger towards that because that's kind of the way, like I said with the, the Twitter fights, I have a primal need to say, no, stop fucking sitting on the fence, pick a side. Who do you, whose side are you going to be on? Because chances are whoever's Colossal side he picks, chances are I'm going to be on that side because I trust in Colossal. But that's an innate problem. 
people are playing on that. People are saying, oh, you're going to sit on the fence. Let's wait until we see what you have to say so we can decide, decide our position. The same thing with fucking politics with Hillary versus Trump. It's the same fucking thing. People are waiting for celebrities or politicians to go, hey, which way are you going to vote so that I can choose how I'm going to vote too? This is a serious problem, guys. I, I mean... You need, it took me all of like 20 years of my life to realize this shit, that people are learning how to play on emotions. The media knows how to play on emotions. YouTubers know how to play on emotions. Why do you think people spend so much time hiring scientists and researchers to understand what makes the human mind click? And you know what? These people are doing it. They're realizing what makes you people click, what makes subscribers click, what makes them want to act for you without ever even thinking for a moment. Guys, I love all of you. Please, please, please don't fall for whatever leaf he's going to do when he comes out with this video or tweet or whatever he does that says that he's in the wrong. Don't fucking follow up for it. Unsub Leafy. This man is a manipulator. Unsub anyone. Anyone. Unsub me if you fucking must. If somebody goes out of their way to tell you how to think or to act for you. Just because they label something as weird does not give you the initiative to go out and attack somebody. Think for your own goddamn self. Pick your own goddamn size or maybe just sit on the fence and decide for yourself. I love all you guys. I'll see you next time.